good morning. We are out of breakfast food and I unfortunately do not have coffee because it was supposed to be delivered Monday. But because of the snow, they did not deliver it. And then for some reason did not deliver it yesterday, even though we had cleared a path. So I am without coffee, which is not a good way to be, especially when it's busy. And I don't know why I'm stuffy this morning. Hope it passes. But my plan is to take advantage of the time that I'm not eating and get some editing done and then I will grab breakfast but I'm out distributing signs this morning. I'm now heading to Duncan to get some breakfast and coffee then to distribute my yard signs and probably trudge through some snow banks so that's something to look forward to. Then it's off to work to decorate a bit more I have a class today, or a student, that or he's not really a student anymore, but a volunteer that'll be coming in. And then I have to go meet Scott for an appointment. Then we will see. And then I have my final parade committee meeting tonight. So time to start another busy but fun and productive day. I also forgot to mention Today is the first day that Duncan is home alone with nobody for hours at a time. So I really hope that the tree is still standing when I get home and that he behaves himself. I've not vlogged much today. It was a busy day with not much vlog worthy content. But as you might be able to tell, I'm exhausted. So I'm going to bed and I will talk to you tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. We're just having my breakfast and coffee while watching Zoe's day two of Vlogmas. So, should be a good morning. Duncan's here too. Sorry about that weird shot. Duncan's here, just had his breakfast. Say hi, Duncan. Duncan. I'm headed to work. Another busy day ahead, and then it's Night of Lights tonight, so we'll see what happens with that. I know it's a little scaled back this year because of the snow, but I'm still excited to see all of the lights. Well, I got done what I could, but tomorrow I have no choice but to finish everything, and there's still a lot to go, but I'm just doing what I can. Found out that Helen, the woman who usually helps me, who I said had the flu, is actually in the hospital with pneumonia. So I was getting concerned about her, but I'm glad to know that she's at least being taken care of and hope that she recovers okay and everything and is home soon but that also means that I'm pretty much completely on my own so I think I'm doing a pretty good job so far just gotta make it through tomorrow and then we'll be ready for Saturday so now I'm headed to have some festive fun at the Night of Lights <music>
COVID starts and I wanted to share that they added a fun festive touch this year of light up bracelets which will make things very festive to add to the lights and will go along great with the music so it's a fun enjoyable night not too cold pretty comfortable in all my layers so definitely less windy than last year so that's a good thing I'm home now going to find something for dinner but I just wanted to share that I'm happy to report that my coffee order has arrived hooray I got a bit of editing done but I have another very busy day tomorrow so time to head to bed about 7.15. I'm going to head to Starbucks this morning because I'm leaving over an hour earlier than usual and get to work early to get this thing done and ready. It has been quite the long day. Didn't time lapse anything for you because I just didn't want to take time out to do that. But it is 6.40 p.m. and I'm done. So, thought I would show you what I did. It's not as much as I've done in some past years, but that's because I had less time to do it in and less people as well. So, I think it turned out pretty well, all things considered. dinner and relaxed for a bit. Scott and I watched a couple episodes of Goldbergs. I watched some Vlogmas from other people while also uploading and posting my first Vlogmas. But now it's almost 11 and I have to go shower still. So I'm gonna go do that, go to bed, hopefully get some good rest and see you tomorrow. I didn't sleep very well last night because a couple other people in this house kept me up, mainly Duncan, but I'm up now, gonna have my breakfast, watch some Zoe Vlogmas, repaint my nails because they need it. I was gonna do a fancier pattern, but I don't think I have time for that, so I may just go with a red, but we will see. But I'm going to be trying out a new coffee this morning that I haven't oh, that I haven't had before. <clears throat> it's a caribou coffee and it's their reindeer blend. So this should be interesting. Okay, I'm gonna try this coffee now. It smells really good. I like it. It's good. But it's very strong. I can tell it's got quite the punch to it. Maybe it's a dark roast. I don't know. But it's tasty and strong and sounds like just what I need this morning. Along with some Zoe and Mark. Okay, this is the red I went with for my nails and then did a little makeup for Santa wearing my standard 
Christmas event sweater with my, of course, light bulb necklace. Doesn't go the greatest with this collar, but it'll work. And Christmassy Jingle Bell earrings, which drive Duncan crazy. So, ready to go. Well, the show's over. We had four kids come, but those four kids were happy and had a great time, especially one girl who was, I'm sorry, who was afraid of Santa, didn't want to see Santa every time she would go to say the mall or something, her mom said she didn't want to go, but a very sweet moment happened in that there was another little girl about her age who had already seen Santa and she showed her that it she didn't need to be afraid and then that little girl that was afraid went and sat with Santa and talked to him for quite a long time and really overcame her shyness so that was a great and wonderful moment that made it worth it it's just a little hard right now I'm trying to focus on that positive aspect but I think I'm tired and maybe a little burnt out of, or maybe all the stress is just catching up with me I don't know I don't want to be or shouldn't be feeling this way it's just so much time and effort to make it nice and I don't know what to do to make more people come and yes that time and effort is worth it for those few kids that did make it and did enjoy it but it just makes it a little bit more of a struggle and I don't know I don't know if I've been bottling things up <coughs> from other things or just life but apparently it's all coming to a head now so, this is unexpected and not the way I wanted this afternoon to go. But, we're going to head to Scott's parents for a bit, because we haven't seen them in a while. And then I'm going to go home and hopefully relax, because apparently I need it. But I hope you're having a good day, whatever you're up to. I will get over this. I will be fine. Don't know why I've had this little meltdown. Don't know if I'm even going to leave it in. But overall, it was a success. Everything went smoothly. No hiccups or glitches, really. So I should be happy and proud. It will just take me a little bit of time. And hopefully more people will spread the word so that we can get some more people here next year. I am off to take part in the parade. Don't know yet exactly what I'll be doing because it keeps changing, but I just know that I'll be participating in it. It's sunny but cold, so I'm gonna bundle up and it should be a good time. I can't take my camera because where I don't know what I'm doing, I don't wanna take the risk of dropping it or losing it, but if I'm able, I will get video on my phone for you. I am home now. I would say the parade was a success. I ended up being a little too warm and not cold, so that's good news. And now I am quite tired, just because it's been, as you know, quite the crazy hectic week. And... Busy, busy weekend to the point I don't feel like I've really had a weekend because yesterday I didn't really. I was working and then today was so busy with the parade that I, I just haven't had much me time or downtime. 
So I'm currently doing my planner to figure out the next week, trying not to think about how little time I have to get everything done until it's Christmas. And enjoying a nice hot cup of coffee. Gonna Scott and I are gonna watch the newest X-Men movie because we've been waiting for it to arrive from Netflix. So we're gonna watch that while I unwind a little bit and then we'll see what time it is when that finishes and where I'm at. Because it's currently, I think, about five. Let me see. Yeah, it's 4.53, so. Been a quick day, but a long day at the same time. But yeah, now I'm gonna go finish planning and enjoy a movie. Duncan's here with me. I feel like he hasn't been in this vlogless vlogmas nearly enough. So I thought I'd show you him while I have him here. Say hi. Hi, everybody. But I enjoyed the movie. Granted, I'm not a comic book person, so I can watch it without any prior judgment. And so it was entertaining for me. And Scott very kindly, because he knew what a hectic week it's been for me and the weekend, went to Target for me. And while he was there, got me some face masks. So this is one of them. A relaxing face mask. Very appropriate lavender. So I'm going to put this on now and relax for a little bit. And then do however much editing I can get done before I need to go to sleep. Headed to work. It's nice to be back to a somewhat more relaxed and normal schedule to an extent. We do have a show this morning, but I will be home tonight because I kind of have to monitor some things for work, but I can do it from home. So I will be coming home after work. We'll have to drop something off at the dry cleaner. That'll be home. So I'll talk to you then. Hello. It has not been a very vlog worthy day. I've pretty much just been editing most of the night. My day five video posted and I'm currently processing day eight. That's what I've been finishing up editing all night. Editing it takes so much time, especially when you're doing 12 videos, not counting Vlogmas. So therefore I fall behind on Vlogmas because I'm trying to keep up with all the 12 days of Christmas and even though I started ahead of the game, I'm still feeling like I'm behind. So that's not exactly fun. It's 9.42 p.m. and I still have to shower. So later than I had planned, but I really wanted to get this one finished so that hopefully My computer will not stay still. Hopefully, if I feel like editing in the morning, I can edit some more vlogmas because I don't like to get too behind on that. But the 12 days also have to go up on certain days, so it's just a lot. And while I don't mind it, and I do kind of have fun editing a lot of it, I just wish it wasn't so time consuming. I could use that time for other things as well but that's the latest